Welcome to the real Florida at Little Talbot Island State Park. I'll be camping here and exploring this undeveloped barrier island for the next three days. The campground I'm staying in is nestled among ancient dunes in a lush maritime hammock of live oaks with American holly and southern magnolias, too, draped in cascading Spanish moss, just as it was when the Spanish conquistadors arrived. The moisture, the nutrients, and temperature are optimal so that there is plenty of fungus among us in the maritime forest. Leaving the maritime forest, we head toward the mud flats that are bordered by the salt marsh or tidal marsh. The salt marsh or tidal marsh is a nursery for all kinds of marine organisms. And if you look closely, you can see the mullet jump. It's also a wonderful habitat for wading birds, like this great white egret. And here come the mudflat fiddler crabs, detritivores, eating delicious dead stuff out of the mud. So you can see it, it's happening. There's another wading bird, a great blue heron, feeding at low tide. From the salt marshes on the west and hardwood forests in between, we will head east now towards the coastal upland. Wow, and here we spot a gopher tortoise. This tortoise is protected by the state of Florida. I see you, cottontail rabbit. And a fritillary butterfly, too. Now, via the boardwalk, we cross over the dunes to experience the five miles of pristine beach on Little Talbot Island. White sand rolling surf that's typical of the high energy Atlantic coast. Wow, solitude, sand, and sea in a park that covers the entire 2,500 acre island of Little Talbot. This is the real Florida. And I'm experiencing a lot of live sand dollars, purple, 
sometimes red or brown all over the place. These I don't collect. I place them back in the water. But I do collect the skeletons that are incredibly amazing in design. Thorny or spiny sea stars or starfish washed up all over the place during low tide here. Some trying to walk back to the ocean on their own. I'm going to give them a little help. star named for its purple color and a poor little deceased ghost crab that used to be able to run at 30 miles an hour. This is called goat foot or railroad vine. Gorgeous flowers. A rare sighting of piping plovers during migration and a naturalist who is recording the bands on their legs. Only 3,000 breeding pairs remain in the United States and Canada. The wild landscape of Little Talbot Island provides a refuge from disturbance and development for many sensitive shorebirds. It's also a refuge for sea turtles who nest here from May through October. 3,000 baby sea turtles hatched last summer from 53 nests. Five miles of pristine beach equals 10 miles out and back. What an amazing shore walk I had. but more excitement was to come. Florida surfers. Wow, we could be watching another Kelly Slater or Courier Sheila Lopez from Florida World Championship Winners. Little Talbot Island is a photographer's paradise. I'm choking up even now because this was one of the most incredible sunsets I've ever witnessed on Little Talbot Island. This just keeps getting more incredible.
from glassy eyes, they stare out and they say, please protect the real Florida for now and for generations to come. <laughs>